Hello and welcome. My name is Colonel Vembu Shankar. I'm an Indian Army veteran. Uh, with regards to uh, Honorary Lieutenant Colonel M.S. Dhoni's association with the Indian Army, well, uh, it goes back a long way. Uh, he has got a great interest in the armed forces, whether it's in the Indian Army or the Navy or the Air Force. He's got great knowledge about the armed forces, the equipment that they have, the technology, of the strategy and the tactics. So as a person who knows him for about more than 10 years now, and also uh, uh, the connection that both of us are associated with the Indian Army, I would say that uh, MS knowledge about the Indian Army and uh, the armed forces in general is amazing. Very few people would know that uh, he's just not a brand ambassador for the Indian Army. He's an honorary lieutenant colonel, which the Indian Army has given him a rank. And uh, he takes it to his heart. He's trained along with the Territorial Army in a field area in Jammu and Kashmir. He's done that twice. And... Um, since he's from the parachute regiment, he's done his basic parachute training course at Agra. This is a very difficult course. At the end of the course, you're entitled to wear the para wings, which is a coveted badge, even amongst the Indian Army personnel. So during the training, the uh, he had the same schedule as anyone else. In fact, his schedule was even tougher because they used to get up at about 4 o'clock in the morning and train till about 2 o'clock. But uh, in the evening, uh, Lieutenant Colonel M.S. Dhoni became the cricket captain M.S. Dhoni and he had to visit a lot of establishments, meet uh, people to boost their morale. So everybody wanted to have a glimpse of the Indian cricket captain. So he had to do all those social uh, obligations too. But he did all that with a smile in his face and came out tops. And the buddies that he made during that basic para training uh, are his lifelong buddies. MS Dhoni as a person, as a leader, has got uh, so many qualities of an armed forces leader. First and foremost is compassion. He uh, believes that the people whom he leads uh, should get the best facilities, best uh, you know, comforts before his own comforts. And of course, uh, the country comes first always and every time for him. And uh, I would rate uh, Colonel MS as a true leader. And maybe uh, I would uh, even go to say that maybe the armed forces missed on uh, a good officer in him. But we are lucky that he is an honorary lieutenant colonel. So we will get to see him interacting more with the troops. And it will be a good learning for him to, as, uh, to develop himself as a better human being. So wish you a very happy birthday, MS. Uh, Jayan.